Numbers chapter 25. And Israel abode in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people, and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay ye every one his men that were joined unto Baal Peor. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses, and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel, who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand, and he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel, and those that died in the plague were twenty and four thousand. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, hath turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consume not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore, say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace, and he shall have it and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God, and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zer. He was head over a people and of a chief house in Midian. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Vex the Midianites and smite them, for they vex you with their wiles. Wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a prince of Midian, their sister, which was slain in the day of the plague for Peor's sake. Numbers 26 And it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from twenty years old and upward throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar the priests spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt, Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanok, of whom cometh the family of the Hanakites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Karma, the family of the Karmites. These are the families of the Reubenites. And they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu, Eliab. And the sons of Eliab, Nemuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. This is that Dathan and Abiram which were famous in the congregation who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah when they strove against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died. What time the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simeon, after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites of Jamin, the family of the Jamanites, of Jacob, the family of the Jaconites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerites, of Sheol, the family of the Sheolites. These are the families of the Simeonites, twenty and two thousand and two hundred. The children of Gad after their families, of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shuna, the family of the Shunites, of Ozna, the family of the Oznites, of Eri, the family of the Erites, of Arod, the family of the Arodites, of Areli, the family of the Aralites. These are the families of the children of Gad, according to those that were numbered of them, forty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. 
And the sons of Judah after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Pharaz, the family of the Pharazites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarhites. And the sons of Pharaz were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamuel, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah, according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and sixteen thousand and five hundred. Of the sons of Issachar, after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and four thousand and three hundred. Of the sons of Zebulun, after their families, of Sered, the family of the Sardites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those that were numbered of them, threescore thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph, after their families, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Maker, the family of the Makerites, and Maker beget Gilead. Of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead. Of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites. Of Helek, the family of the Helekites. And of Azrael, the family of the Azraelites. And of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites. And of Shemida, the family of the Shemadeites. And of Hefer, the family of the Heferites. And Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mela, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families, of Shuthila, the family of the Shuthalites, of Beker, the family of the Bakerites, of Tahan, the family of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shiluthala, of Eran, the family of the Eranites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph after their families, the sons of Benjamin after their families, of Bela, the family of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites, of Shufam, the family of the Shufamites, of Hufam, the family of the Hufamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families. And they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were three score and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher after their families, of Jimna, the family of the Jimnites, of Jeshuai, the family of the Jeshuites, of Beriah, the family of the Berites, of the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them, who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred, of the sons of Naphtali, after their families, of Jazil, the family of the Jazilites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shalem, the family of the Shalemites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Unto these the land shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. 
Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Levites, after their families of Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites, of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korathites, and Kohath beget Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bare to Levi in Egypt, and she bare unto Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward. For they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them save Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Joshua the son of Nun. Revelation 21 and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither. And I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, on, on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof an hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a chrysophrysis, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. 
And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation chapter 22. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not. For I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Job chapter 28 Surely there is a vein for the silver, and a place for gold where they find it. Iron is taken out of the earth, and brass is molten out of the stone. He setteth an end to darkness and searcheth out all perfection, the stones of darkness and the shadow of death. The flood breaketh out from the inhabitant, even the waters forgotten of the foot. They are dried up, they are gone away from men. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread, and under it is turned up as it were fire. The stones of it are the place of sapphires, and it hath dust of gold. There is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vulture's eye hath not seen. The lion's whelp, have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. He putteth forth his hand upon the rock. He overturneth the mountains by the roots. He cutteth out rivers among the rocks, and his eye seeth every precious thing. He bindeth the floods from overflowing, and the thing that is hid bringeth he forth to light. But where shall wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth saith, It is not in me, and the sea saith, It is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the air. Destruction and death say, We have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof, for he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven, to make the weight for the winds, and he weigheth the waters by measure, when he made a decree for the rain, and a way for the lightning of the thunder. Then did he see it, and declare it, he prepared it, yea, and searched it out, and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and it depart from evil, 
is understanding.